Laws.com Legal Forms Guide An authorization is a document that is given from one party to another, allowing them the legal right to do what is specified. Authorizations can be used for a variety of reasons, but they can mainly be found in legal and governmental dealings. In this case, we are using the authorization example used in the state of New York for the Board of Elections for party nomination for a political election. Examples of authorizations can also be found online or through legal help services. The first step in filling out your authorization is to gather all of the information you will need to supply. In our example, you will need to fill in all of the appropriate names who need to authorize the vote. The presiding officer and secretary names should be entered. Next, the political party and subdivision need to be entered twice in the four empty spaces. The fifth line requires that you fill in the date the political vote has taken place, including month, day, and year. Lines 7 and 8 require that you fill in the name and contact information of the candidate that is authorized to represent the party. Include his or her name, address, and the office for which the candidate is nominated. Again, the date must be provided and the signatures of the two authorizing members, the president and secretary, must be signed at the bottom. In this authorization, a notary public must certify the document, providing the date, their signature, and the notary stamp. The notary must also include the names of the two authorizing agents, again in this example, the president and secretary. Note that the notary must witness the signatures on the document. Not all authorizations will require a notary certification. Check with your local rules to determine if your authorization will require such a certification. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.